In this demo, you will see an overview of Trust &E and some of the great features to make your designs easier. This is the first screen you will see when you open the software. At the startup screen, you can select the units you want to design with and the standard. Our software is also available in French, Indonesian, Portuguese, and Spanish languages. Let's start by opening an existing truss file to show you a truss example. For this example, we will design a basic how truss. This is the first input screen. At the top of the input screen, you will notice the library we are using. For this example, we will use the SSMA library. Trustini has several standard and proprietary libraries. Please contact us if you are interested in creating a library for your specific shape. Once the library has been selected, the member size option can be accessed. Select the sizes for the cords, webs, and lateral bracing. The truss marking is the name you give to the truss. There are some special names that we use for the trusses with specific design parameters. If you do not understand what to put in an input field, just hover your mouse over the input field and information will display to guide you. You can design in ASD or LRFD. Click on the right arrow to go to the next input screen. This is the second input screen. You can specify the desired truss type by clicking the select button. Here you select a typical truss type or dream up your own with the user configuration selection. Fill in the required information and click the arrow to get to the third input screen. Specify the dimension data for your truss. Trust &E can use the following connector types. We also have 23 U.S. and international building codes to choose from. The codes are kept up to date and we can add codes as needed. The fourth input screen is for the load data. Click the draw truss icon when all the information has been entered. The truss will draw. Check to make sure the truss is correct. You can edit the truss using the modifying buttons. Once your truss is correct, select the Analyze Truss button. Within a second or two, the truss will be analyzed and the design report will print. This report shows all the loads, design parameters, and engineering information. Scroll down to see all the pages of the report. Page 2 Truss Connection Design Data Lateral bracing design. Gusset plate design. Once the truss passes, click on the Bill of Materials icon. Here, you can set up your fixed costs and desired cord cuts. Click the check mark icon to save the data and enable report creation for your truss. This is the truss estimate report. Click on the print icon to see the reports. Select the desired reports to print. Fabrication drawing. Erection drawing. Trust Details, page 1. Trust Details, page 2. Trust Details, page 3. Let's look at some other features of the software. 
Under the File menu, you can import DXF files and Vertex software files. Files can be exported to a DXF format back to Vertex or to your machine controller. Our library functions allow you to create or merge libraries to meet your needs. Design with both imperial or metric units. The design tools allow you to easily and quickly create hip roof trusses and piggyback trusses. You can easily design for the snow loads, drifting snow loads, and seismic loads. The Trust Project Reports area allows you to select and print many reports. The Project Summary Report will give you the cut list and cost for the entire project. You can also customize the information that you want to print on the reports. In the Project Summary Report, you can select the following. Components by Section, Components by Section with Cost, components by trust. Thank you for viewing our demo. For more information about JFBA software packages, visit our website.